Hello, this is Mel Thompson, and this is a podcast and a series of podcasts about political risk. Today I'll be discussing Austrian and Macedonian nationalists and why these two elements, for lack of a better term, are not necessarily indicators, global indicators. The headline says it all. The headline, which would probably read and does read actually on my blog, Austrian and Macedonian nationalists are not indicators, says it all. Nationalistic trends continue in some nations while they recede in others. In the case of Austria, the far-right presidential candidate, Norbert Hofer, lost in, while in Macedonia, Nikola Grusevski and the Nationalist Party that is led by Grusevski are poised to form a new government. What we can take from these two elections is is that there is no hard and fast rule based on a global populist slash far right movement. It is a nation by nation situation based on the people, policies and politics of the moment. No more than the election of Donald Trump in the United States can be a indicator or predict a far right victory in France. Can the Brexit and Trump be considered the benchmarks? for a new awakening of global populism. Foreign direct investors and companies that are looking to use one or two examples as a measuring stick for planning a new political risk mitigation practice need to rethink such a course. The trusted method of considering numerous individual on the ground factors and historical data country by country is how the risk mitigation needs need to be considered on a project basis. The indicators are not the election of one party or a person. Rather, it is a set of facts that convince the electorate to take a chance on continuing the course or changing. All elections harbor political risk of uncertainty, yet none of them are alike to the degree that they can be used as a measuring stick. It is not advisable to apply the U.S. or Macedonian elections to the global political movement any more than it is advisable to apply the Brexit vote to the victory in the U.S. of Donald Trump. It is a case-by-case, project-by-project, day-by-day analysis, just as it has always been and always will be. This has been Mel Thompson.